Hey, Olivia, what are we going to draw today? A duck. A duck. But what is a duck? A bird. Yeah, a bird. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along. You need your crayons or something to draw with. You also need... Paper. Paper. What colors do we have? We have black, brown, and orange, and green. Yeah. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's first draw a line across our paper. We're gonna draw it right here. Right in the middle of our paper. Straight line, there we go. And then you could draw it a little bit further over there too. I'm gonna to draw mine closer to the edge on this side like you did. Then we're gonna draw the bottom of our duck. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down. Oh, it kind of looks like a boat, huh? Yeah. We're gonna start here, come down, and then back up. Yes. Then we're going to draw the head of our duck. We're going to come up like this, and then we're going to curve around and then back down. It looks like an upside down letter U. You're going to come up and then down. Yes. And then we can also draw the duck that we're drawing has a little ring around its neck. So we could draw a straight line there. Let's draw the eyes next. I'm going to draw a circle right here. We just draw one eye since it's the side of our duck's head. And then let's color in that circle. That part we sped up, but if our art friends need more time, what can they do? They can pause it. Yeah, you can pause the video. Okay, should we draw the beak next? Yeah. Okay, let's draw a line that comes out and back in. Out, then back in. Oh, that's a cute little beak. Yeah. <laughs> what is our duck missing? Wings. Wings. Let's draw a curve right here inside of the body. There's the wing. Now what should we draw? The feet. Feet. Let's draw the legs too. Let's draw two lines straight down from the body. One, two. Hey, you could draw them a little bit longer too. Oh yeah. Now it's a basketball. Oh, that could be one leg. And then let's draw another leg over here. I like how tall your legs are. Maybe your duck plays basketball. <laughs> Now let's draw the feet. We're going to draw a line coming straight out on each side. So we could draw one coming up and you could draw one coming down. <coughs> yes. <coughs> what do ducks feet look like? Paddles. Paddles. Yeah, because they like to swim. Yeah. Okay, let's draw another line coming down right here. So we could draw it right here to right there. Yes. And then let's connect it. And what shape does that look like? A triangle. A triangle. Yeah, we can connect it right here. Oh yes, I like that. And then you could connect it up to there. Perfect. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Oh, this foot is a little bit bigger. <laughs> We're gonna draw a line right here, down to there. And then connect it up. Olivia, we did it. We finished drawing our duck, but we're not completely done. What do we still need to do? We need to color it. Yeah, this part we're going to fast forward, but you guys at home can pause the video and take time to color your ducks too. Yeah. You ready to fast forward? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. Five. Did you have fun? Yeah. I had fun too. And I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings. What else could our art friends add to theirs? A background. A background. You could draw water. What else? Uh, sun and clouds. Sun and clouds. And some little ducks. Oh, little ducks. That would be perfect. Little baby ducks. We hope you have fun drawing our duck with us. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Bye. Today we're going to draw a hummingbird. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. You need your crayons. What colors do we have? Pink, green, and black, and purple. Yeah, and you also need some? Paper. Paper. You ready to start? <laughs> Let's first use our black crayon, and we're going to draw the body for our hummingbird. And we're going to draw an oval shape. I'm going to draw it like this. It's kind of tipped like this, and it's also on the left side of the paper so that we have room for the wings. Do you want to draw an oval right about here? Yep. That's perfect. <laughs> now let's draw the little eye. We're going to draw a circle, and we can color it in. Good job. Now let's draw the beak. Do hummingbirds have long beaks or short beaks? Long beaks. Yeah, long beaks so that they can put their nose inside the flower yeah. and get the juice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now let's draw, let's, let's draw a 
sideways, V. We're gonna come out and then back in. Whoa, and then back in. Well, that's a very cute beak. It's a baby. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, now let's draw the wings. We're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes out. We're gonna start right here and then draw a diagonal line that comes up to here. Yeah, and then we're gonna curve down and connect into the body. So start here and curve down to there. Now inside of the wing, let's draw another curve that matches. We can start here and we'll draw a curve that matches inside. So we can start here and then draw a curve to there. Now let's draw the feathers. We're gonna draw a line up at the top. So you start here and then we can draw out to there. And then we're gonna draw another one right next to it. Watch this. We're gonna draw feathers going all the way down and then they turn. Yeah. Keep going. You did it. Do hummingbirds have one wing or two wings? Two wings. Two wings. Let's draw the other one, but we're only gonna draw part of it. So we're gonna draw it coming up. We'll start here and come up to there. Yeah, and then we're gonna curve back down, but we're gonna stop when we hit the wing. So we curve back down. Yeah, then let's draw that curve on the inside, just like we did right here. Let's start here and draw a curve down to there. And then let's draw more feathers on that wing. We can only draw a few, huh? Mm -hmm. There you go. You did it! Now what's our hummingbird missing? A tail. Yeah, a tail. Let's draw it right here on the back. We're going to draw a line coming down. So we can start right here and come down. And then let's draw a curve coming back up. So we can start here and come back up. Yes, and we could add two feathers inside. Let's also draw lines on the inside of our bird, or hummingbird. Let's start right here on the beak and draw a curve underneath the eye. And then we can draw another one right here. So start here, curve down to there. Yeah, and then right here on the belly, let's draw U-shapes coming across. Looks like lots of feathers. Yeah. Now we can also draw the feet. When they're flying, they got their feet tucked up into their body. So we could draw a little oval right there and we could color it in. And let's draw another oval right here and color it in too. We finished drawing our hummingbird and it turned out perfect, except we're not completely done. What do we still need to do? Color it. Yeah, we need to color it. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you could pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Olivia, give me five. We did it, we finished drawing and coloring a hummingbird. And your drawing looks so cute. Your drawing looks cute too. Oh, thanks. I especially love the little flower you added down here. I also added flowers too. But you what? could do a background oh, with the sun. Oh yeah. And a little bitty hummingbird. <laughs> you could, you could add a background. Could also add more hummingbirds or more flowers. And even a sun, like you said. Yeah. You hope you had fun drawing the hummingbird. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, friends. Today we're gonna draw a grasshopper. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Are you excited? Yes. Yeah. We hope you're excited too. And they need their drawing supplies. What are we gonna use? Crayons. Crayons. They also need some paper. Paper. You ready to start? Yes. We have a bunch of colors that we're gonna use: a dark green, light green, pink, pink. Black and yellow. yellow. Let's first start by drawing our grasshopper's head over here on the left side of our paper. And I'm gonna draw it kind of big. I'm gonna draw it maybe like this size. Not too big because we need still room for the body of our grasshopper. Now let's color in this circle. And this part we're going to fast forward. So yes. remember, uh, what can our friends do? Pause it. Yeah, pause the video and take extra time to color your circle too. Now we're ready to switch to our light green color and we're gonna draw a backwards letter C. We're gonna draw right here, we're gonna draw a backwards letter C. Okay. So start here, come around, and then back in. Now let's fast forward again. We're gonna color in this shape. 
Now we're switching back to our yellow crayon to draw the wings. And we're going to draw a big sideways letter U. We're going to start here at the top of the middle part of the body. And we're going to come back like this. And then we're going to come back in. For the wing. For the wing, yes. So come there and out, back in. Good job. Now let's fast forward and we'll color in the wing too. Now we're ready to switch back to our light green and we're going to draw the body. But we're only drawing part of it because it's behind the wing. So let's start right here on the end of the wing. We're going to come out a little further and then we're going to come back in and connect to the middle of the body. Come out a little bit and then back into the body. Yes, you did it! Now we have the head the middle of the body, the back of the body, and the wing. Let's color in the back of the body. And this part's really long, huh? Yeah. This part's short, but the last part of the body is really long. Yeah, it's like going to take over the paper. The whole paper, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before we put our light green away, let's add antenna. I'm going to draw two antennas coming out of the top of our grasshopper's head. One and two. Now we're done with our light green. Let's switch to our dark green. We're going to use the dark green to draw the legs. And grasshoppers have six legs, but we're going to keep this lesson a little easier and just draw three legs. Yeah. So we're going to draw one coming out of the middle of the body. Then we're going to draw another one coming out of the middle of the body. And then the last leg or the third leg that's on the back of the body, it's really big. So we're going to draw a big line that comes up. Yes, and then we're going to draw a big line coming down. And if we want to, we can make this part, this part right here, that's going up. Oh yeah, I made it a little longer, that's good. This part right here to there, we can make it thicker. So you could go over it a couple times and make it a little thicker. That looks really cool. I like it. You did it, Olivia. Good job. Now we're ready to add the feet. Let's draw a little foot going this way and a little foot going this way and then the back foot going this way. Yes! Before we switch colors, let's add a little circle at the top of each antenna. One and Two. Good job. Now let's switch to our black crayon. Let's use the black crayon to draw the face on our grasshopper. I'm going to draw a little smile in the middle of the head. <laughs> your smile is open. Maybe your grasshopper is screaming. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> then let's also draw a circle and color it in for one eye and another one for the other eye. Do you want to color in your mouth too? Yes. Okay. Now we're ready to switch to our pink crayon to add pink cheeks. And if you want to, you could leave this part off if you don't want to, if you don't want to add pink cheeks. I like pink cheeks though. Olivia, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our grasshoppers. Did you have fun? Yeah. I love how your drawing turned out. And I especially love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. That's okay, right? They both turned out awesome. Because the most important thing is... To have fun and practice. And to practice, yeah. Remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours too. Yeah. I'm sure they turned out awesome. I like your drawing. Oh, you like my drawing? Yeah. Do you want to tell them you like their drawing too? I like your drawing too. I do too. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye! Bye. Hey, art friends, today we're going to draw a... Bunny. Yeah, we're going to draw a bunny with a carrot. Yes. Because bunnies like carrots? Yes, and I love carrots. <laughs> <laughs> For this lesson, you need something to draw with. We're going to use, what are these called? Um, crayons? Yeah, crayons. <laughs> okay, also need some paper. Are you ready to start? Yes. Now we're going to use our blue crayon first, and we're going to draw our bunny using shapes. Mm -hmm. The first shape we're going to draw is, oh, we're also going to use letters. But the first shape we're going to draw is a circle for the bunny head. We're going to draw a circle like that. Do you want to draw a circle? Yes. I'm draw it right here. Yeah, that's a good spot. Oh, it's a perfect circle. And it looks like an egg. It kind of looks like an egg. Mm -hmm. That's okay because bunnies like eggs too. Next, let's draw our bunny eyes. I'm going to draw a circle and another circle. Two circles and color them in. There's one circle. There's one eye. 
and then another eye. Yes. Do you also want to draw the smile to make our bunny happy? Yeah. Okay. There you go. That's perfect. I'm going to do the same thing. Draw a little smile for our bunny. And I draw right there. Yeah. <laughs> What's our bunny missing? Big? Ears. Yeah, big ears. We're going to draw the letter U, but we're going to draw it upside down. So we're going to draw a big bunny ear like that. Do you want to draw a big bunny ear going up? And down, go up and down. One, there you go. You did, there's one bunny ear. Now let's draw another bunny ear because they have two, right? Yes. One, two. You want to draw another bunny ear? Right there. Oh, and I like that one. That one's a little smaller. It's cute. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Next, we're gonna draw our bunny's body. We're gonna draw the letter C. Mm -hmm. We're gonna draw it right here, connected to the head. There's the letter C. You want to draw a body? You start here, go over and back. Start up here. There you go. Draw over, around. Oh, it's a little body. I like it. And then we're going to draw. Hello. <laughs> you can draw a bigger body if you want. You want to draw... There you go. Oh, that's a big body. And then we're going to draw another C, but we're going to draw a smaller one. This is for the tail. Look at that. Letter C. Yes. You can draw on the on the back of our bunny. Ah, that's a perfect little bunny tail. Next, we're going to draw a W or two U's stuck together for the feet. I'm going to draw them up here. One, two, two U's stuck together. We could draw it right here. Two bumps. Roop, and another one. Roop, and a, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> then let's do two more. Two more feet for the back feet. One, two. We could draw them back here by the tail. One. Oh, that's a big one. You could draw another one right next to it. <gasps> you did it. You drew your bunny feet. And a pink. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We need pink in the ears, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's switch to our pink. And we're going to draw the inside of our bunny ears. So we're going to draw another shape. Upside down you. Like that in each ear. You want to do it? Yeah. Right inside. Go up and then down. Oh. <gasps> Yes, you do. Wow, you did it. And that's okay. You press a little harder. Do it again. Press harder. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> you want to do another one right here in the small ear? Yes. Inside. There you go. And I'm, I'm going to do the same thing inside of here. Now, this part we're going to fast forward, but we're going to color in the inside of our bunny ears. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys can pause the video and take time to color in your ears also. All right, we did it. We finished coloring our bunny ears. We could also do little cheeks, too, if we want. Yeah. We're going to do pink cheeks. You want to do pink cheeks? Yes. Yes. One and two. Two pink cheeks. One and two. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to switch to our orange crayon because what is our bunny missing? Um, a carrot. A carrot. <laughs> the same green. Oh, <laughs> and green. Yeah. <laughs> Let's draw another shape. We're going to draw an oval for our carrot, but I'm going to draw a tall oval for our carrot. You want to do a tall oval right here so that our bunny can eat it. Yes. Then we're going to color in our carrot. It's orange is better. Orange is better, yeah. <laughs> do you want to color in your carrot? Yes. Now we're going to switch to our green crayon. And what's this for? What's our green crayon for? Uh, the, the top. Yeah, the top of the carrot. Let's do like a... Leaves. Yeah, leaves. You're right. Let's do a line coming out of our carrot. Right off the top. Out of the top. There you go. A line. And then we're going to draw a circle because there's lots of leaves on the top. And then I'm going to color in the circle. So draw a circle and then color it in for the top of the leaves. Olivia, we did it. We finished drawing our bunnies and our carrots. Did you have fun? Yes. You promise? Yes. <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing bunnies using shapes. Do you want to tell our art friends that we love you? Yes. I love you. <laughs> we'll see you later, art friends. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> hey, Olivia, what are we going to draw today? A caterpillar. A caterpillar. We hope you're going to follow along with us. We're going to keep this lesson nice and simple, and we're going to use shapes, circles. What do we need for this lesson? What are these called? Crayons. Crayons, yeah. And we're going to use red, green, and what's this color in the middle? 
Black. Black, yeah, and you also need some paper. You ready to start? Yes. Okay, we're first gonna use our red crayon. And we're gonna draw a circle for the head on our caterpillar. We're gonna draw a circle like this. I draw a circle over here, close to this side of the paper. A little circle. Yes! Then, oh yeah, you already know what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna color it in. In this part, we're gonna fast forward, but you guys at home can pause the video and take time to color your red circles. We're gonna put that off to the side and we're gonna use our green crayon. We're gonna draw another circle right next to the red circle and we wanna make sure that they touch. We're gonna to draw it like this. See how that green circle touches the red circle. Do you wanna try drawing a circle the same size? There you go, it's touching. And then, yeah, color that one in too. Now we're gonna add another circle. I like that your circles are different than mine. We're gonna add one more circle right next to it. Do you wanna do another circle? And you can color that one in too. Should we do one more circle? Yes. Okay, this one I'm gonna draw a little smaller, kinda of like your circles. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna color it in too. And then, do you wanna draw one more circle also? We finished drawing our circles. We're gonna put our green crayon off to the side and we're gonna to switch to our black crayon. And how many circles do we have? One. Two. Oh, and two circles. Yeah, we have a few more. One, two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Do you have four too? One. You count them. One, two, three, four. Yeah, good job. I love your circles. Okay, now let's draw two more circles for the eyes on the red head. One, and two. Do you want to also add a smile? Oh, that's perfect. I'm gonna add a smile too. Here we go, little curve down at the bottom. Now we also need to draw two lines coming out of our caterpillar. That's for the antenna. Good job. Now what's our caterpillar missing? Down here on the bottom. Um, legs. Yeah, legs. <laughs> Let's draw lots of legs. I'm gonna draw three lines on each circle, like that. Yeah, and then three on that one, or four. There you go, three, and then another three. Two, three! Olivia, we did it, give me five! You did such a great job on drawing and coloring your cute caterpillar. Did you have fun? Yeah. We had four circles, and we also used our black crayon to add the face and a lot of legs. They crawl all over plants, don't they? Yeah. yeah. And they eat plants. They eat plants too, huh? Lots of plants. Yeah. <laughs> you hope I have fun drawing cat feathers. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours, because the most important thing is... And to have fun. Yeah, and, and to, to practice. And to practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Olivia, what are we going to draw in this lesson? I'm a frog. Yeah, we're going to draw a cute frog. Now, this lesson is meant for younger artists. How old are you? Three. Yeah, three. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need crayons and also... Paper. Paper. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay. We're first going to start with our... What color is this? Um, green. Yeah, green. We're going to start by drawing a green circle in the middle of our paper. Can you draw a green circle? Right yeah. here. Yeah, good job. Now we're going to switch to our black crayon and we're going to draw the eyes. We're going to draw two more circles, but we're going to draw them smaller. We're going to draw one right here and we're going to draw another one over here. Two eyes at the top. Oh yes, and you're coloring it in. Good job. Oh, I like how... <laughs> I like how small you colored your eyes. I'm going to color my eyes in, too. It's so fun I do small eyes. Yeah, you did small eyes. Now let's switch back to our... Oh, first, before we switch back to the green, let's draw a mouth on our frog. And we could draw a happy mouth. Yes, good job. Oh, super happy mouth. I like it. Now we're going to switch back to our green crayon and we're going to draw the part that goes over our frog's eyes. We're going to draw an upside down U. We'll go around like this and we'll go around like this on both eyes. One and then another one. 
<laughs> I love your frog so much. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, now we're gonna switch to our red crayon and we're gonna draw the tongue because they stick, uh. yeah, they, <laughs> they stick their tongues out and then they eat stuff. What do frogs like to eat? Um, uh, flies. Yeah, flies. <laughs> Let's draw the tongue right here. We're gonna draw a big U shape. The letter U right here underneath the mouth. Do you want to color in your tongue? Yeah. You did it. Now I'm going to color my tongue also. Now we're going to switch back to our green crayon and we're going to color in our frog. This part we're going to fast forward so you guys can pause the video and take time to color your frogs also. Good job, you did it. Okay, now let's draw our frog's toes. We're going to draw three toes. One, two, three. And do you want to draw? Three little toes sticking out over here. One, two, and three. Good job. Then we're going to add three more toes for his other foot. One, two, three, right here. One, two, three. Oh, those are little toes. <laughs> I like how little they are. That's awesome. Okay, now let's draw the arms. We're going to draw one arm sticking out over here and another arm sticking out over here. I'm going to draw one line and another arm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then we're going to draw the fingers on our frog's hands. One, That's two, like three. Wiggly. Yeah, wiggly arms. <laughs> I like drawing the arms up because then it looks like he's going to reach for his, the flies, his dinner. You want to draw three little bumps like this for his fingers. One, <laughs> two, and one more. Oh, yeah, little one. You could draw a little bigger. You want to draw a little bigger finger? Oh, yes. Oh, he looks like he's giving a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, draw the little fingers over here. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay, add three fingers over here at the same size. Do one, two, and another one. <laughs> it's an arm. Yeah, it looks like it's on his arm. I'm going to add three over here, too. One, two, three. Let's All right. the brown eyes on oh. there. <laughs> I'm going to color in my fingers like this, color in these, the toes down here and toes down here. Do you want to color? Oh, what? I <laughs> he forgot. I forgot the fingers over here. <laughs> All right. You want to color in your toes and fingers? Mm -hmm. What do frogs like to sit on? Lily pad. A lily pad. Yeah. Let's start right here on this side and we're going to draw an oval. It comes around like this and back on the other side. You can start here. Draw around and connect over there. Yes, that is an awesome lily pad. It's like his house. Okay, what are we missing now? We gotta draw something else. One more thing. Fly. Yeah, flies. We need to draw our flies. We're gonna switch back to our black crayon, put our green one over here, and we're gonna draw a circle first. Draw a circle and then color it in. You wanna draw a circle right here and color it in? But I'll do wings too. Oh yeah, we'll add the wings too. There's the body. Wow, that's a big fly. That's going to be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I like it. All right, and then we're going to add the wings. Perfect. You did it. Two wings. Can I add wings to mine? Yeah. All right, we're going to draw a U-shape and another U-shape. a big one. A big one. I love it. I'm going to add one more fly right here. Circle and the wings. And it don't have eyes. Yeah, no, <laughs> you could add eyes, but we're gonna leave those off. Do you want to add one more fly? Yeah. Above his head over here. Yes, you did it. I love how big your flies are. Those look like tasty flies. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we need to do one more thing. This part we're gonna fast forward again, but we're gonna add water underneath our lily pad. So I'm gonna draw a line right here and a line over here and then I'm going to color underneath it. Does that look like water? Yeah. Okay, do you want to add water to your drawing also? Yeah. Olivia, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring and drawing your frog. What was your favorite part? All of them. All of it? That was my favorite part too. And I especially love that your frog looks different than mine. They both turned out perfect. That's because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, and to practice. 
We hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! <laughs> hey, Olivia, what are we going to draw today? Um, a turtle. Yeah, a turtle. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with. What, what are we using? They look like Dark. crayons. Yeah. What color is that? Dark green. Uh-huh. And black. Black. Is that green too? A light green, yeah. Now we're using light green. light green, yeah. We're gonna use oil pastels, but you could use crayons or color pencils. You ready to start? Yeah. We're first gonna use our light green oil pastel, and we're gonna draw a line on our paper. You want to draw a line straight across? Yeah. yeah. Good job. I like. They're I, bumpy. It is a little bumpy. Under Walmart. You want to go back over it? Yeah. You can do that. Oh, you made your line really thick. That's cool. Oh, even more. Okay. <laughs> now we're gonna. Line right there. It looks like a foot. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the top of our turtle shell. We're gonna draw an upside down U. A big upside down U. We'll start over here. Draw a big upside down U. Go up. Yes, and back down. That's a little bumpy, huh? I like that you're doing it. Ooh. Do you want to go ahead, color in your shell? Okay. Okay, this part we're going to fast forward, but you guys can pause the video and take time to color in your shells also. Good job. Now we're going to put our light green off to the side, and we're going to switch to our dark green. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> now we're going to switch to our dark green to draw the head of our turtle. We're going to draw a backward C. Look at that, that's the head. Do you want to draw a backward C right here? Yeah. Oh, I like your, it's really small. You want to draw bigger? Oh, that's good. Okay, now let's color in the shape of our head. The turtle head. Look at that. Now you guys remember to pause the video for extra time. Do you want to color in your turtle head? Yeah. Now we're going to draw the tail. We're going to draw a line that comes out on the left side. Come out, and then we're going to start out here on the end of the tail, and we're going to draw a line back. Look, a sideways V. We'll draw another, that line coming back in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, or up top. Oh, that's really cute. Do you want to color it in? Yeah. What's our turtle missing? A leg. Yeah, legs. Let's draw four legs. And we're going to draw a line that comes down. Oh, I like that. That's even better. Can I do that same shape? Yeah. I'm going to come down, back up. Looks like a U. Let's do another one for another leg. Okay, now we need to add two more legs on the back. We're going to go down, back up, and another one. I like that you drew your legs like that. And then one more. Oh, we have four legs. Do you want to color in your legs? Yeah. Now we're going to switch to our black oil pastel, and we're going to draw a circle for the eye, and then we can color it in. I like your big eye. You could use your dark green and make the head a little bigger. Do you want to do that? Come out here and draw a line that comes around to make the head bigger. And come back in. Oh, that's really cool. Color that one in too. One more spot. You did it. Now we're going to switch back to our black and let's draw a little smile so our turtle is happy. Olivia, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring and drawing your turtle. Did you have fun? Yeah. It turned out really cute. You hope we have fun to draw turtles. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your turtles with us. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, what are we going to draw in this lesson? A walking leaf. Yeah, a leaf bug. Yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. One of our favorite cartoons is what? What's um, our favorite cartoon? Bluey. Yeah, Bluey. And we love the episode that has the walking leaf in it. Mm -hmm. So we thought it would be fun to draw one. We hope you're going to follow along with us. What do we need for this lesson? Crayons. Crayons and? Paper. Paper. And we're going to use a green crayon, yellow, and also, what color is this? Um, black. 
Yeah, black. We're first going to use our green crayon. We're going to draw the eye for our walking leaf. We're going to draw a circle. Do you want to draw a circle right here? Yes, good job. Oh, I like that shape. <laughs> then we're going to draw the leaf shape. And this one's a little tricky, but we're going to use points to help us. We'll put one point in front of the eye. Put a point right there. Good job. Then we're going to do another dot back here for the back of our leaf. We'll put it right here towards the top of our paper. Put it right about here. Little dot. Yeah. Now we're going to draw the top of our leaf. And we're going to draw a big rainbow line that starts here on this point. And we're going to draw a curve. It comes up and then back down. Oh, I went past the dot. That's OK. okay. So we're going to draw a big rainbow line. comes up and then touch the point. Ah, that's perfect. Now we're going to draw the bottom of our leaf and we're going to do the same thing. We'll start over here. We'll draw a curve, it comes under, and then touches the second point. Two dots. One, two. <laughs> I like the shape of your leaf. You did it. You're a great artist. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to color our leaf green, the whole thing, except we're going to leave our eyes white. Mm -hmm. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. That was a lot of coloring and you did a great job and you left the eye white. Now you guys can pause the video if you need extra time at home. All right. What's our leaf bug missing? Our um, walking leaf. Legs. Yeah, legs. Lots of legs. Mm -hmm. Let's draw three. We're going to draw one line, two, and then three. Do you want to draw three lines coming down from the bottom? One, two, Three. I like These your legs. Those are big legs. I want to make my legs as big as yours. There's three big legs. Insects usually have six, but we're going to leave it just like that to keep the lesson simple and easy. Now we need to switch to our black crayon because we need to add the eye. Let's draw a little circle right here inside of the white circle. A little circle. What is our leaf bug missing? A mouth. A mouth. Yeah, let's draw a happy leaf bug walking leaf. Draw a little smile right here. Oh, it's perfect. All right, now let's switch to our yellow crayon and we're going to add a line from the eye all the way back to the point. And if this doesn't show up, we can go over it a couple of times and make it stronger. Now let's add a big line that goes from the middle to the outside. So you can do one right here, go all the way right here up to the top. Then we're going to do one that comes down on the bottom. This makes it look even more like a leaf. The lines inside of the leaf. And then let's add another one on top. And then we can add another one on the bottom. And then we're going to add one more little one at the very end of our leaf, right here. And then one last little one at the very bottom, just like we did on the top. See how we added three lines on the top and three lines on the bottom. Do you want to add one more line to the bottom right here? We did it. We finished drawing our walking leaf. And you did such a great job. I love that our drawings look different. Yours turned out so cute. Did you have fun? Yeah. And we hope you had a lot of fun following along with us. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.